Welcome all the guys and the two girls that have followed my channel. My name is Elliot. Thank you for tuning in. So today we have a very short video regarding how you can install MetaMask, what you can do with it, and how you can basically transfer funds and then transact within the decentralized finance world and also maybe invest in, I don't know, new tokens before they even reach the market. So uh, a lot of exchanges do not have some tokens that are reaching the market. So you're going to have to use uh, your own wallet which means that you are going to get the tokens before they get into the exchange. And the only way to do that is basically if you have a wallet, uh, you can use MetaMask and others, but I'm always using MetaMask. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, get started. So um, just go to MetaMask.io and then uh, you go to download. Um, so you press on this blue button and then you get onto this page. It depends on really on what kind of uh, system you have. I'm using Chrome at this point, I'm not iOS or Android, so I'm going to install it here. After you installed it, um, MetaMask, well, you're gonna see this uh, fox. <laughs> and um, here's the thing, before we get started, I just wanna make something really, really clear. So using MetaMask doesn't mean that you're going to store your cryptocurrencies on this wallet because you're never gonna store your cryptocurrencies on anywhere else than the blockchain because it's, it, of course, it's decentralized, it's not physical, it's somewhere like on a, on a blockchain. Um, the thing that MetaMask does, it uh, basically allows you to really easily connect to decentralized applications. What it really means, it communicates with the blockchain, it detects what kind of coins you have, and then basically it also allows you to, um, let's say, interact with these applications. The thing is, is that they do not, of course, um, guarantee any safety or whatnot. I mean, there's human er error. If you lose your key phrase, your funds are lost. If you're losing like your password and your key phrase, well, it's lost too. Uh, if it's being leaked or you're getting into the wrong website and you give them your a key phrase, that's basically giving like your bank account and your password, but there there is like no insurance. So you're, yeah, you, you lose your funds. Now, before I make everything too scary, as long as you um, just keep it safe. So you write down like your seed phrase, which is basically your backup. So if you lose your password, uh, you install uh, your new computer, your house is on fire, and then you need to buy like a new laptop in a browser, and then you install it. As long as you have these 12 words that I'm going to show you afterwards, you're going to be good. Uh, other than that, MetaMask is really easy to use. Um, you can connect it to Ethereum, ERC20, so you can trade on Uniswap. You can do that also on BSC pad. Very, very easy to do. We can set it up in just a few minutes. So let's get started. I press on get started and then create a new wallet because we don't have a key phrase, assuming that this is the first time you're doing it. So let's just do it. All right, so they are asking to help them improve. I'm going to say no thanks for now. Just gonna put a, a password. I would recommend you to uh, generate one within your last pass or whatever it is, something that is really hard, uh, something that you will also not uh, forget, I guess. Uh, don't use a password that you're using on other website ever, ever. Uh, use something unique, something new. The fact that I'm doing something with eight letters is because I'm never ever going to use this wallet ever again. I'm just going to do this for an example. All right, so here we go. So this is the key phrase we were talking about beforehand. Uh, if I press here, then you're gonna see that it's going to be revealed. Of course, you're going to see my key phrase. I really don't give a shit because you can basically waste your time because there are no funds on it. So yeah, enjoy. If you really want to have my wallet, that's fine. Notable kits provide pottery state Kenyan. Blah, blah, blah. So if somebody copies this and he puts it into his MetaMask, if I had here a hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, or a hundred thousand, doesn't matter. They basically have the access. It's not your not your keys, not your coins. Um, this is basically the key. Um, that said, I am going to use a, a website. So this is assuming that it, it's this is like not something that I uh, advise you to do ever. But this is representing where you're going to write down like your key phrase. If it's a, it's in a paper or in a, in a safe or a USB or whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, this is representing that. I'm not telling you to go to this website. It's just for uh, the use of ease. All right. So um, I'm going to go further and then he's going to ask me to confirm my key phrase. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to do that. Notable kit provide. Then lastly, conduct already good. All right, congratulations, it's been created. All right, so this is the password. Oh. All right, so here we go. They're gonna ask you if you wanna install it on your phone. Up to you. I'm not gonna install it right now on the phone. So as you can see, 
it really works. Uh, we have zero Ethereum. I can press on this one and then I can um, um, press on buy. I can send it, I can swap it, whatever I want. Uh, just for the ease, I am going to change the language just for other people that don't understand Dutch. All right, I, I couldn't do it beforehand, sorry. All right, so it's changed. All right, so right now we have the Ethereum. So let's say we are going to go to Uniswap where all the shit coins and everything is being traded. So I'm going to use Uniswap. I'm going to press on Uniswap. I already have my wallet here. Uh, let me just make it visible here. All right, so it's here. If you want to make it visible, you just press on this pin. All right, then we go here. And basically I have here Ethereum and I can add anything that I want and everything that I want to uh, buy or sell, I can do that through here. So that's a way to uh, buy coins that are traded on Uniswap and are not traded on other markets. Um, other than that, you can also use, of course, pancake swap. Here's the thing. Pancake swap doesn't work like um, Uniswap on Ethereum. It works on BSC, uh, which means uh, Binance Smart Chain. So what do you need to do in order to uh, connect to Binance Smart Chain? So as you can see, he's going to ask me like connect to MetaMask. So I'm going to press next. I'm going to press connect. He's going to try to connect. I'm going to approve. The network details do not match area. Right. So as you can see, I need to change my chain. All right, so how can we do that? What you can do is I'm going to also post a link below, academybinance.com, and then uh, an article regarding Conatamax, uh, connecting Metamax to Binance Smart Chain. You just scroll down, you scroll down until you see this mainnet, right? And then what you do is pretty simple. You press here on uh, Metamask. What I like to do is I like to expand the view. Then I'm going to add a custom, custom uh, RPC. And everything that I see here, I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to put it right here. So network name is smart chain. We can call it whatever we want. It doesn't matter. We can call it Binance Smart Chain. And then we have here the uh, RPC URL. We can copy and paste that. All right. And then we have here BNB. And then the block explorer also doesn't really matter. It's optional. I like to use BSC scan and then we're going to save it. And that's it. That's all it takes. And then basically, as you can see, now I'm connected to Binance Smart Chain and I can use Binance Smart Chain. I can use Ethereum. But what happens now if I use Binance Smart Chain and I connect my wallet? So he's going to connect. As you can see, I'm connected. He's not asking me anything. Now I can transact basically within uh, PancakeSwap. All right, so let's assume you are going to invest in a coin that comes up soon and you're going to have to send them, I don't know, ERC20 or BSC or whatever it is, USDC. The thing that you need to do is I'm, I'm always using um, Binance. Uh, the thing that you're going to do, I'm not going to do a tutorial regarding that. You need to withdraw whatever it is that they are accepting. So if they are accepting um, BUSD, which means that it's a Binance uh, um Binance uh, stablecoin, or they're using uh, Tether, which is either ERC20 or also BUSD. Just to make it simple, you're going to need to withdraw Binance coin into your wallet. The way you do that is pretty easy. You just go to your Binance, you press some withdraw for your Binance, and then basically you press here, copy to clipboard, and this is your wallet. This is your wallet address. It's never going to change if you log in with your key phrase. This is it. All right. If you want um, to withdraw, then you go to Binance and then you copy this one. You put it there and you should receive it here uh, any second. Here's the th just make sure this one is Binance Smart Chain. That's why we have selected here uh, more and then Binance Smart Chain. If you're sending something to Ethereum and it's a BUSD, then you're, of course, you're going to have to use this contract, which is uh, for Ethereum. So we are here, Ethereum Netway, um, Mainnet, and then we add token. We do custom token. We uh, post this one, and then it should add this one. All right, that's it. So from here, the uh, very easy part is uh, if you are going to invest, let's say, in a project or whatnot, um, fast forward. Uh, you can connect them to the to the blockchain that they're going to ask. Most of the time, they ask it in the soft or within the platform that you're going to invest through. 
And uh, yeah, having here funds, so you need to have some BNB for the gas fees, so transaction fees. And then if you're going to have to send, let's say, $100 or $1,000 BUSD or Tether, whatever it is, which represents $1, you press here, you press on send, you copy the address where you need to send it, and that's it. You're done. So yeah, if you would like to know more about decentralized finance, I did create a video. You can find it right up here and then you can find out how you can use uh, PancakeSwap or Uniswap. Uh, you can start staking, lending, you can start yield farming. You can make a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of returns from that, but it's also a little bit risky, but I explained the risks there. Uh, guys, thank you very much for uh, yeah the patience. Uh, I will create some more videos once I get a little bit more time. Some of you know I've been working like crazy on Dicubate. It's growing in insanely quick. I'm very proud of it. Um, yeah, we're going to do some giveaway after I will create a video regarding that. Other than that, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next video. Bye.